Are you still betting your barn with straw or stone dust? Wrong. Are you sick and tired of the back-breaking labor you need to pick up that sawdust and straw? Ah, it's so heavy! Introducing revolutionary rubber barn stall mats. So easy! Hey, what's up guys? John from Old Learning Farm here. Thanks for joining us. In today's video, we're going to talk about the best flooring that you can possibly get for your barn. And it is rubber barn stall mats. So when we first built this barn, uh, or the idea was to have a dirt floor, but then because of the grade of the ground, we had to dig out a lot of dirt, and so it just wasn't feasible to then add more in. Um, so we put a wood floor down, and then we put wood shavings on top of it, pine shavings to be exact. Um, and you know, that worked out pretty well, but then the problem became it was just a lot to maintain. And it also got all in the alpacas fur. So if you have animals that you're using for fiber, uh, the pine shavings just gets into their fur and it stays there and then it rots. It's no good. Um, and it also took a lot of pine shavings to fill this floor. So this is a 10 by 20 barn. It was 200 square feet, a little bit less than that on the inside. And it took like four or five bags of pine shavings to cover the floor with enough um, so that it was padded and, and ready to go. Um, but then it also broke down. Um, it would get soaked in the rain, and that's no good because we have a, a three-sided barn run-in. And then it also got wet, you know, with alpaca pee. Um, so that wasn't ideal. After that, we decided to go with stone dust, which is what we have on the outside here. And so as you can see, Stone dust is a mix of stones and dust. Um, so it's good to have on the outside because for our alpacas it helps wear down their toenails so we have to clip them less often, which is good. But then in here, it created a lot of dust, which again, they did like because they would use it for dust, dust baths and things like that. The bad thing was uh, the urine would soak in and it would compact and then it would just get so disgusting and heavy underneath it and we ended up having to shovel a lot of it out to clean out the barn. Because while they don't go to the bathroom in here a lot, we do have five of them and you know once they start going somewhere that's one of their spots. And so it became really kind of gross to clean up and a pain in the neck because it, you know we would put the, uh, the bedding in our buckets and bring it out to our manure pile and it would just end up being really heavy and a pain in the neck to carry around. After that uh, we got a big shipment of hay from our guy in Vermont um, and we had so much that we had you know extra lying around we didn't have enough space to store it all so we decided to try hay. That didn't work either um, because again it just it broke down really fast and it got gross and it didn't allow a lot of air to penetrate um, to allow things to evaporate so it would just soak in and get really gross and disgusting. Um, so when we first built this barn, I did look at these rubber barn stall mats, and these are four foot wide by six foot long, and I think they're like three quarters of an inch thick. Um, I looked at them, but I thought it was gonna be way too expensive uh, because these are 45 bucks each in our area, and so we used six of these in here now um, and so when I first built it I thought it would be a little bit too expensive and thought maybe you know saving a couple hundred bucks would be a good thing um, but since we have installed these they are just the absolute best thing in the world game changer <laughs> it's a definite game changer um, it's much softer so the alpacas like to lie in it um, and you know we didn't cover the entire barn just because we decided to save some money and, and not do the outside edge, so we have some stone dust there. So they can still do a little bit of their dust bathing, which is good, um, but this is much softer than any other substance, uh, while also being really rigid and strong. Um, and, you know, nothing gets absorbed into it, so their, their pee just can evaporate, and you know, there's no anaerobic breakdown of materials. Um, it's super easy to clean up, so that's really nice. And again, it's just, it's soft, it's absorbent, so it's good for them to, to hang out here and lie down in. Super easy to clean up. 
and I would absolutely 100% recommend getting these barn stall mats if you have any type of barn for your animals. It's it's much more expensive than any other option, but I think in the long run it will save us money. It's going to save a lot of time cleaning up things, and it just makes your life way easier. So I definitely, definitely recommend rubber barn stall mats. We got these from Tractor Supply. Uh, this is not a sponsored video or anything like that. We, we just, like, I love these things. It was a big game changer. This was a, an anniversary present from my parents to us, and uh, thank you. So the stone dust that we got to fill here, um, we would pick up by the half ton in our pickup truck. And it took about three quarters of that to fill this. Um, and so it was about $20, $25 for that. Um, but we would have to do that fairly regularly, like at least maybe once a month, once every other month. Um, because again, like once this stuff gets wet, it starts to compact. And then when they pee on it, it just gets really disgusting. And we would also, you would end up having to pick up a whole bunch of it when cleaning up after them anyway. Um, so that just wasn't a good means of doing so. Um, the wood chips were $5 a bag and it took four or five bucks, or four or five bags to fill this area. So that's 20 to 25 bucks and that's again once a month. So while these barn stall mats are an expense and a big expense, overall, you know, in the long term, five, ten years down the road, they would have paid for themselves in spades. And also just in uh, making life easier, well worth it. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. We really appreciate it. Please give this video a like, leave us a comment, let us know what you think, and as always, please subscribe. Thanks for stopping by. Bye!